Antoinetta, you drew your game today with Joe Gallagher. It's the end of the tournament. Tell us something about the game. Well, I uh, obviously didn't expect him to play the Italian with Bishop C4. I was expecting more something like Rio Lopez and some more exciting lines. Uh, but it's difficult, you know, when you play with black and if your opponent wants to be solid, it's uh, not so easy. Because normally you win with black if white wants to win. <laughs> and and uh, if they just play solid uh, line. Okay, I tried bishop c4, knight f6, and mm -hmm. uh, there are some interesting lines with knight g5 and d5, and it's a different story. But uh, he didn't go for my provocation. And I don't know, now I think that maybe... My first move, e5, was a mistake, <laughs> but it's a bit too late. No, you never know how the game will go. Yes. And, well, I mean, in any case, he's a good player, so mm -hmm. uh, it draws a normal result. But I would like to, if I had more chances to fight, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. Yes, yeah. Any thoughts about this experiment, the battle of the sexes? Well, I think it's a very interesting concept and it's the first time it has been done and I'm very sorry that I got the COVID and then uh, I couldn't play so many games. I don't know if mm -hmm. that would change anything or not. But in any case, I, I was so excited to be part of, of this tournament and I was... Uh, thinking that uh, we would win <laughs> the ladies, but uh, okay, there are still games, uh, mm -hmm. so many games in progress, so we still have our chance. But of course, uh, going into the last round with uh, minus three and playing all black uh, mm -hmm. is not an ideal uh, start of the last round. And yeah, but I hope we'll have a chance to rematch mm -hmm. and uh, I think we drew our conclusions, <laughs> so yes. for next time I think uh, it will be a different story. Do you have any ideas for how we can change the format or improve the fo format, to make it more interesting? Well, there are many ways uh, to be done, uh, but in general I really believe that it's a very interesting concept. and. Okay, we were just um, unlucky in some games, maybe more so than the guys because they also have missed some chances. Yeah. And uh, but okay, it's a very close match, and uh, I hope people have enjoyed it. Of mm -hmm. course, it's uh, from one tournament is maybe difficult to draw conclusions, mm -hmm. but um, I see a big future in such kind of formats. Right. Okay. Let's have a look at the game. Okay, Antoinetta, we're looking at a Italian game or Gioco Piano. What happened next? Well, uh, as I said, I was expecting more Bishop B5 here and not uh, the Gioco Piano, but um, um, okay, I played uh, Knight F6, inviting Knight, knight G5. G5 and D5 and some. Mm -hmm. uh, more exciting lines. Or even bishop c5, it's very exciting. <laughs> yeah. So, but okay, he, uh, Joe, he was playing very solid and it was logical with the tournament situation that yes. they would try to neutralize <laughs> as yeah. many of us as, yes. as they can. And um, It's a compliment to you that he's trying to neutralize you. Yes, but uh, okay, in the last uh, round situation when you're plus three, I think you just basically try to neutralize everybody. <laughs> so, True. but okay, I take it as a compliment. <laughs> bishop c5. On bishop c5, and now knight c3, which is not the most, uh, let's say, popular line, but oh. it is played quite a lot. C3, I suppose, is a... Yes, C3 and castles and mm. some plants with uh, so some you don't, normal stuff. So you don't just automatically play D6 like in the Joko Pianissimo, you play A6? Well, I don't know if it really matters, you know, because mm. sooner or later you play all, all these moves, so sure. it's just a matter yeah. of uh, move orders. A4, otherwise I 
might have had some ideas with knight a5, but mm -hmm. now the bishop can go away already, so h6, uh, yes. As I said, okay, uh, I, probably I can play d6, but okay, I was not sure about all these bishop g5 lines, and um, I thought, okay, why not h3? And yeah, I think it is... Uh, uh, this six is the normal move because uh, sometimes if you castle quickly in this line, you might get some attack with g4, g5, yeah. and it's very because dangerous. We've already played this move, so it could be. Yes, so, so uh, d6. d6, is is, sorry, d6, yeah. And then bishop e3. I was uh, not happy to see this move <laughs> because, uh, well, the more pieces you exchange. Mm -hmm. Uh, the less uh, things are possible, but um, I don't know if uh, knight d4 was the correct move, but I just wanted to somehow complicate uh, things. I don't know if white can take, bishop takes uh, d4 and take and knight e2 and... Okay, I don't know, maybe I can sacrifice for initiative with d5. Or maybe I can just play bishop b4 and, I don't know, c3, probably. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? And here. A5. Okay, I mean, uh, probably it's still slightly better for white, but okay, I have some potential. I have the yeah. two bishops and yeah. I think uh, that would suit me better than what happened in the game. Yeah, imbalances, at least it imbalances the position, gives you something to play with, doesn't it? Yeah, sure. Okay, but uh, knight, d5. knight d5 is just very, very solid, isn't it? Yes, because okay, now c3 is uh, mm -hmm. threatened, also now white can take on d4 with the knight and somehow damage my pawn structure, so I didn't see anything better than, but just to take it. Mm -hmm. And bishop, bishop takes... Chase away the bishop. Six. She goes to a2. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't see anything better than what I did in the game. And, uh, okay, I mean, it's uh, quite normal what we did. So, castle. don't think there's much alternative. Well, I suppose you could go back, but... Uh... No, but if I went back, then maybe just d4 and... D4, yeah. Well, I didn't want to end up in a too bad position. Too provocative. Might be, yeah. So, uh, so queen b6, maybe this was not so, such a great idea, but on the other hand, of course, white is so solid that, uh, I don't know. I mean, in general, with black, uh, if white doesn't make mistakes, uh, you cannot win. So, <laughs> I don't know, I was trying to provoke some... Uh, things, but uh, it didn't work out because mm -hmm. after before I'm already forced to take on e3 and then uh, just uh, probably exchange everything. I don't know. I mean, you can always go back, but then a5 and uh, it starts right. looking yeah. a bit yeah. better for white. No castles, f4, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I'm not on time really to go some king h8 and f5 because uh, yeah. simply. White has the first move advantage, so it, uh, it's yeah. very symmetrical position. And you just have to be pragmatic and, and see what occurs later on then. Yes, uh, and uh, here, well, a5 looked normal to me. Mm -hmm. because, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I don't see really a plan for black to, to fight too much mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, of course, I, I maybe underestimated uh, King e2 because now, of course, I cannot take and take yeah, because true. of Bishop yeah. f7. Mm -hmm. And uh, after King e2, I was thinking for quite a long time because I was trying to somehow continue the fight, but it looked to me that if I try to over push, I might be in slight trouble because mm -hmm. so I was thinking okay, I was thinking about such moves, but uh, I'm not sure what happens because um, he can simply go to b1 and yes. I have a problem with uh, yeah. this pawn. 
So, I mean, even, if, okay, I'll push F5, he will take, but I cannot, let's yes, say. You can't uh, develop the, can't develop your bishop because you have no time really. to be seven. Uh, just take and... Just take this way, I guess. Yes, but how, how to develop my pieces after, mm, no? Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know if he needs something like E4 and... I go back. Oh, Oops, not sorry, not there. <laughs> John, please. Sorry. Just not to It's a long way away. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> well, I don't know. I mean, even a move like bishop c4 or, yeah. or something. Just, uh, yeah, I don't see how to yeah, threaten yeah. anything. Yeah. I mean, there's so few pieces left and uh, I still have a problem here. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, okay. I mean, we can see it till the end. Take, take, and... Takes on a5. Take on a5. Probably I have to mm -hmm. take. And rook comes over. Um, or comes here. And what I, in, because initially I was planning to play something like this, mm -hmm. but then it's simply rook b6. And next move is rook b1, and his king is slightly better than it's mine. And it's, uh, well, I mean, it's a draw, but. Uh, fractionally better for white. I guess. Yes, but I just don't see a way mm -hmm. how no. to continue no. uh, the fight and of course I have also enough beliefs in uh, Joe's endgame techniques we have He's seen a pretty him. good player, yeah. So, I mean, I... I think it was inevitable to... to I think it was a correct game and mm -hmm. it was a logical yes. result and okay, I'm just sorry I couldn't produce a more exciting game today, but it happens sometimes. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you.